So excited to share with you my sweet friend Tiffany who is doing this video as a collaboration with me. You can find her over at Beauty and the Beastins. She is funny, sweet, and absolutely all mom goals. She offers motivation for cleaning, cooking, organizing, and all of those things on her YouTube channel where she'll take you with her, show you how to do it, and really put a fire under you to get it done. Today, after you're done watching my video, make sure you head over and subscribe to hers and watch her video as well. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Lauren Stewart here. Today's video is going to be a shop with me. Um, but I just got in my car and all my tires are flat. What? So apparently I have to go fix that. Well, everybody get back up and here we go. We live out in the country in Maryland, okay? There's like this many stores by us, but I did find, cause so I usually do like my major furniture shopping online. So like, I just got my couches from West Elm. Honestly, like a lot of things that I get are off of Wayfair and Joss and Maine. But I wanted to go in person to look at the table because I feel like it's just so different. But there is a Value City Furniture by me, so we're gonna go in there. Trouble is, Dawson just fell asleep. So we are going to take the stroller with us and we're gonna go see if we can find us a table because I sold ours. Okay, here's what happened. I felt like I didn't have enough room, so I got rid of my table. Well, it turns out when you have three kids, apparently you need a table when you sit down to have dinner. Sean likes to sit down at the table and have dinner because I usually stand in the kitchen and like field requests. So, all right, let's go ahead and go see if we can find us a dining room table. I want a round one. I love you, you ready? I want a little, a little baby square one to go in my room. So I can have a tea party with juice, a wolf data. Yeah, we'll see you inside, bye. So I've never had a ton of luck here, but I have seen some really cute pieces. Um, I felt like for this, I wanted to see the size in person, and I just hoped we really might get lucky and find something we love. You like the red bench? Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't think red will match mommy's house though. And the black table. But I kind of like how this one could go in the corner. I want a black, a black couch right here and a blue couch, which is that color. You do? And I'm and wondering that, if that, green that. velvet is kind of what mommy's thinking though. Mom really likes green mm -hmm. for some reason. Does that make you sad? <laughs> you should be happy. That's okay. I like this mirror. It looks really pretty, huh? I do too. Okay, trying to decide like what shape. I feel like I've really wanted a round one for a while, so that would be like a safe assumption. But it's once you like see all these different options, it's hard to like pigeonhole yourself in one shape. This is pretty. Hi, welcome here, sweetie. This is like really pretty. Our dining room. Oh, look at that bench. That's way cool. Let's look at some of these taller ones right here too. Okay, so this round table, okay, it has three color options. Let's look at those really quickly and see what we think. Okay, so this, 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 and this. I think this one here is the waiter white. What kind of table would you like? It would be so fun if you would sit here with us and pick which table you would like. Oh, I really like these chairs. Yeah, They're soft. soft. Huh? Jinx, so we're just wondering if you would help us choose which, well, thing we should get. So I'm going to shut the thing so you can see. See, I think this is the booty white table. It comes in these colors. Which one you, would you like? And which chairs would you like? And we have this one. It's so cute. I love the chairs. But we have another one. I'm going to show you this one. The chairs are super soft. Feel them. See, they're so, so soft.
So I think we're gonna go with the round one. What do you think? Round two. Yeah. Um, and then we gotta figure out what chairs we want. Oh yeah, Amazon does have chairs. I wonder if Wayfair maybe has chairs too. Let's search that. Yeah, let's search that. So we had a break for lunch and I wanted to call Sean and kind of talk to him about the different options. We went back over with full intent to get this cable and we had definitely made our choice and things definitely did not turn out like we thought they would. Well, I think we're not gonna get the gorilla, but we're gonna get this table, and I think we're gonna get it in this color. Sound good? Hi guys, we're welcome back to our channel. We're so glad you're here with us. Today's video is actually in collaboration with our cute friend, Tiffany. We are both trying to figure out what the crap we're gonna be doing with our dining room. Lila and I have, okay, so I've been shopping online for a table. I found what I wanted forever known, it was like $2,700. I was like, oh, okay, well, $2,700, like, do I wanna spend $2,700 on something that um, my kids will probably color on, right? on accident. Then I found the table that I wanted. Same thing on sale right before Thanksgiving for $1,100. You guys, I was so dumb, I didn't buy it. So flash forward to today, it went back up. And like two weeks ago, I, I was just gonna buy it, then it realized it had gone up again. We went shopping today, didn't we? Uh-huh. And we were gonna get a table today, weren't we? Mm -hmm. But we, we didn't. We didn't. So the table was eleven $1 hundred dollars, okay? Which oh. I was like, okay, great. We'll buy this table. It's eleven $1 hundred dollars. But then it got even expensive. Well, so then he's like, all oh, right, let me ring you up. I kid you not, it went from eleven $1 hundred dollars to seventeen hundred dollars when he totaled this out. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna pay seventeen hundred dollars for an eleven $1 hundred dollar table. That doesn't make sense to me. He's like, well, for the warranty and delivery and tax, I'm not even sure what else it was gonna cost for that much. I was like, all right, let me look at, let me show you the table that I want. He's like, whoa, don't buy stuff online because you don't know about it. I'm like, well, I buy a lot of stuff online. That's literally my job. So anyways, I was like, no, I'm just gonna buy this. So I went online, bought my table for $1,300. It's on sale again. I'm going to show you. That table. The table that, that I we got. Bought. Okay, it was $1,352 and the taxes were $81. So it was $1,433 with taxes. So I just ended up getting it online. It's called the Santa Barbara round dining table. I got it at 2modern.com. That's the Santa Barbara dining room table. So I bought that, okay? It's really pretty. It's photographed with very light colored chairs and I think it's got the top of it's kind of like a driftwood. So I have been looking now since I got home at chairs. I had wanted green velvet chairs for my dining table and then I remembered I have three of these. So, I know you can have that one. So I thought, ah, do I really want that? So I'm kind of looking, let me show you what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at these chairs, which I think actually are really cute. These chairs are on sale for a set of two for 112, which is like very inexpensive. But look, they also have this really pretty blue velvet, which I think is really beautiful. The only thing with that is I've kind of gone a little bit more warm in my decorating. And so I feel like I don't know, that's really pretty though. Yeah, so kind of what we're doing is I'm just trying to decide what the best fit is going to be for me in terms of seating. Dawson obviously would be at his high chair, but really, let's be honest, you guys, we don't even sit at a dining table except for Sean does. But growing up, we always had dinner sitting at a dining room table. Table. Jinx. Together as a family. So, and it gave me the opportunity to spill milk on my dad every single night at dinner. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna order the blue ones and the gray ones and see which ones I like better. I don't know. You guys, I'm really struggling. I am kind of stuck. I just thought that was so interesting. Like, I am not one to say, hey, you know what? Don't go shop in person here. But if you are going to shop at Valley City Furniture, I would recommend just doing it online because it's very cut and dry online. Apparently in person. He's like, oh, let me see what I can do. And like, was like, oh, it's magically $1,400. And I was like, no. Like, why didn't you tell me it was $1,400 instead of $1,700 30 seconds ago? So anyways, I took my kids out of there. We came home. Now I'm here. I am also going to look 
for a round rug. I can't decide if I need the table to come here first. I have so many things now I'm thinking, dang it. I think I'm gonna get these chairs in blue. Maybe I'm gonna get them in gray. gray. This is so hard. All right, let's see. You know what? I need to look at how they have this table photographed in here because I feel like, okay, it has white. You guys, I cannot have white chairs. I have got too many kids for that. Okay. I thought this was gonna be like super quick, super fast, but I should have known better because I've literally been looking for a new dining room table for years, for like two solid years. So anyways, okay, so this room currently has a tree in it, which it usually doesn't. Um, this is the dining room space here. So it's not huge, which is the reason that I needed a round table so we can like easily get around here in the middle. So it's gonna go just right here in the middle. I need to get a rug for it. So yeah, so this is the space that we are shopping for. Okay, I totally had this plan where I was going to like find some things that I love, pull them up, show you. First of all, um, I have three kids, so that didn't happen. Second of all, I cannot find chairs that I like. I can't decide, okay, buffalo check chairs, super cute, but black and white striped chairs, very classy. Children with fabric chairs. Um, okay, so yeah, so I'm struggling with that. So currently I have a table. I'm gonna put a picture here of my beautiful table. It's so pretty, but now I feel like I need to see it in person before I get chairs for it. But I want fabric velvet chairs, so I don't really know what to do. Also, in my basement, I have this rug that I've been saving that's really pretty, but it's a rectangle. So do I get a round rug? That is my question for you. What would you guys do? I'm, I need your opinions. Would you go with a round rug underneath? Would you go with a square rug underneath? Because it's a round table. So round square, or I've seen these like faux cowhide rugs, which could be really fun. I don't know. I would love to hear your opinions. I know rugs underneath tables are kind of controversial when you have children because it's like, who wants spaghetti on their rug? Well, nobody, but I don't want the chairs to eat up my wood floor. So I kind of feel like I need a rug. So I'm at a loss of all the things. I bought my table like while I was at the store instead. And yeah, I think that's everything. So if you are new here, really, really, really glad to have you. If you are here from Tiffany, channel welcome i am so thrilled don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you guys can be around for more videos we have so much content coming and some really big surprises coming in january we are also currently working towards having our fourth baby so if you have struggled with infertility that is something that i know all too well and we have the whole infertility series coming i have footage from all the injections all the doctor's appointments from when we had dawson and so i'm actually going to be putting that together for you and then I'm gonna take you, hi, Karen, what are you doing? Take you to all of my appointments for our next one. So stick around, we have fun family changes coming up at the beginning of the year. We have some very exciting in-depth infertility things. I went through IUI with lots of injections. I have PCOS, so if you are here, don't forget to subscribe so that you can be here for all of the things. And we are gonna be doing homemade chocolates pretty soon, and I'm going to show you exactly how to turn the center so you can dip them perfectly. And we are so glad that you're here. Also, lauren.stewart underscore DC on Instagram if you wanna follow me there too. Okay, I'm not crazy, I'm exhausted. I'm going home for a roll night, so I'm gonna go wash my hair. Okay, thanks, bye.